friends, thanks for joining us. My name's Adam and this is Jade. Hi friends, we are so happy to be with you today. We sure are. Friends, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's Christmas time. I mean, look at all these snowflakes. <gasps> I love snow so much. And yes, Christmas time is here, friends. Raise your hand if you love Christmas. Whoa, that's a good amount of hands right there. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. Christmas is a time where we celebrate the birth of Jesus and all he's done for us. It's my favorite time of the year. Mine too. And do you know what else is amazing about Christmas time? What? Hot chocolate. <gasps> mm, hot chocolate sure is yummy with marshmallows. And extra chocolate. And a nice warm cup. And extra, extra chocolate. And a cozy blanket right by the fire. And extra Extra, extra chocolate. Wow. Wow, wow. We, okay. <laughs> we can stand here and dream about, you know, triple hat chocolate oh, yeah. and cozy blankets all day, but I have a better idea. You do? Well, what is it? Worshiping Jesus! Oh, yes! I love worshiping Jesus even more than triple chocolate <laughs> hot chocolate. <laughs> Me too. Friends, are you ready to worship Jesus with us? It sounds like they're ready. <laughs> All right, friends, let's stand up and worship together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jade, we forgot to show our friends all the different ways that we can worship him. Oh my word, how did I forget? Well, there are so many ways that we can worship Jesus. We can sing, we can clap our hands, we can raise our hands, and even have a super cool awesome dance party. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's it. I love all the ways that we can worship him. It really does make worshiping him so much fun. It sure does. All right, friends, let's stand up and worship Jesus together. Worshiping Jesus? Yay! We are so glad to hear that. It is an honor that we get to worship such an awesome God. It is. So, Adam, I have some very good news. You do? I love good news. Well, that's good because it's seriously amazing. Well, well come on, tell me already. I'm gonna make you guess! Okay, um, okay. Uh, oh, oh, you got a puppy. Nope. Okay, um, ooh, uh, you had, you had pancakes for breakfast. What? No, not that. Okay, um, you, you found a secret portal that leads to another universe uh, where houses are made of ice cream and lollipops. What? No, 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 not exactly, but I, I will say that would be pretty uh, awesome. Duh. <laughs> Adam, okay. what I have to say is even better. Better than ice cream houses? Here, here, here. Let me help you. I'll snap in something to give you a better idea. Okay, okay, snapping fingers. I love snapping fingers. All right, friends, let's snap in the clue Jade has for me so I can get her super good news. All right, let's get your snapping fingers warmed up. Ready on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa, a candle. 
Uh huh. So, what do you think it is? Okay, you started your own candle store. What? No. Okay, let's try something else. Oh, oh, okay, okay, a gift bag. Okay, I know. Um, you bought a new pair of shoes and they're in this bag. What? No. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Oh my gosh, a party hat. You're hosting an ice cream theme party this weekend. Ice cream theme party? Adam, you might be the worst guesser of all time. Oh. Okay, friends, I need your help. What good news do you think Jade's trying to tell me? What? Whoa, there are so many answers. I can't tell what you're trying to say. Here, I've got an idea that'll work. Okay, okay, okay. It's my birthday! What? <laughs> it's your birthday, really? Oh my, that's the greatest news ever. I love birthdays. Happy birthday, Jade! Thank you, Adam. I love birthdays too. They're my absolute favorite. Well, well, do you have any fun plans? Yes, I'm going to see a movie with my friends. Then I'm gonna go to dinner and do this awesome, awesome big dinner with my family and open gifts and eat cakes and ice cream. I seriously cannot wait! Wow. I, that's so exciting, <laughs> but I, I kind of feel bad. I didn't get you anything. It's okay, Adam. You didn't know. Plus, hanging out with you and our friends on my birthday is a gift in itself. Oh, okay. That's so nice of you. But hey, guess what? What? Our Bible story today is all about good news. It's the story of the birth of John the Baptist. Should we listen? Yes, please. Okay. I can't wait to hear this. Adam, do you want to bring it in? Um, of course I do. It's time for today's Bible story. It begins with a very old man named Zachariah and a very old woman named Elizabeth. They were married, but they had no children. And that made them sad. One day, an angel showed up to Zachariah. He was so scared. He almost turned into a statue, but he didn't. The angel told him that he and Elizabeth were going to have a baby boy. <gasps> the angel told Zachariah to name the boy John. When he grew up, John was going to have a really important job. He was going to get the world ready for the best news of all time. Jesus was coming. Jesus would help the world know God and Jesus would save the whole world from sin. Zachariah asked the angel, how could this be? Since he and his wife were very, very, very old. And old people just don't have babies. Because he did not believe it, the angel told Zachariah that he would not be able to talk again until the day the things the angel said happened. And it really did happen. Elizabeth gave birth to a baby boy. When it was time to name him, Zachariah had to write. His name is John because he still couldn't talk. But the moment he wrote that, he could talk again. Everyone was amazed and people everywhere began to wonder what John would do. He was just a baby, but soon he would be the one telling everyone about Jesus. And even though Jesus wasn't born yet, the story of how John was born showed everyone that good news was on the way because Jesus came to bring good news to the world. Hi friends, wow, what an awesome, incredible Bible story. John the Baptist is the man who told everyone about the coming of Jesus. He sure did. Not only did John share good news, but Jesus also had so much good news to share as well. You're right, Adam. Good news all around. Friends, how do you like sharing good news when you have it? <laughs> Whoa, there are so many ways to share good news. I know. How do you like to share good news, Jade? Well, didn't I make it pretty obvious earlier? A megaphone! <laughs> that way, everyone can hear what I have to say! That was a pretty cool homemade megaphone. Jade, do you think that maybe I can have one? Well, lucky for you, I have a spare. Wow! My own megaphone! <laughs> Thank you so much, Jade! I love it! <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
Okay, friends, it's time for our memory verse. And it's a brand new one. I love new memory verses. Memorizing God's word is so much fun. Do you want to teach it to us? Yes! All right, friends, I'm going to say it first, and then you can say it with me the second time. Here we go. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those whom his favor rests. Luke 2, 14. Wow, that's a great verse. I like it too. Okay, friends, let's do it all together now. Are you ready? I think they're ready. Go for it, Jade. Okay. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those whom his favor rests. Luke 2, 14. Good job, friends. Yeah. What's behind your back? Well, I have a surprise for you. You do? Yes. What is it? Cupcakes <gasps> for your birthday. Wow. I love cupcakes. I know. Mm. Oh, these cupcakes mm. are my favorite part of the day. <laughs> They're a really, really, really good part of my day, too. Yeah. But I also love learning about John the Baptist today. Oh, yeah. So did I. Friends. I have a challenge for you this week. Are you ready to hear it? It's a fun one. <gasps> They're ready. Okay. And, and so am I. And so am I. Okay, friends. This week's challenge is to make your own homemade megaphone. Whoa. You can even do it right after this video. All you need is a regular piece of paper, some scissors, glue or a stapler, and some decorating materials. Wow, that is such a fun challenge. That way we can be reminded of our Bible story and how John came to bring the good news about Jesus coming. And Jesus came to bring good news to the world. Exactly. Well, friends, thanks for hanging out with us today. <laughs> we can't wait until next time. And don't forget to make your homemade microphones. Have a great week. Bye.